Debbie with Kip's Corner. Welcome back. And if you are a new subscriber, welcome. Thank you for joining me. This is going to be another quick video. I just wanted to show you what I uh, ended up doing with or am doing with the long envelopes. I think it was in my first video where I kind of showed some of the things I had collected for the Alice journals um, that I had these set this aside, that I had these long, I think they're called policy envelopes. So I've gotten those out and have started playing a little bit. And this is what I got. So this is the first one. And this will be in the journal like this. This is a pocket here. I snipped off the edge and I took a little more than, than this had a another flap that folded up. And I took everything off up to that flap just so that it wasn't, you know, an extra piece in my way. So, and then I put a little, um, yeah, a little finger punch doodad thingy there. And I've got a page from the actual Alice journal here and some of the paper, scrapbook paper from the Stamperia Alice in Wonderland pad. And then here I've got another piece of, from... Oh, let me get this in camera here. Another piece from the actual book, another image. And I've just created a little pocket here. And I've just got a couple little baby playing cards that, whoops, I just lost that one. <laughs> there we go. Don't do that. Just a couple little playing cards tucked in here. And these cards are also from the Stamperia paper pen. And then over here, I've got a little bit of stenciling coming out. And then just some, some of the bottom piece is a vintage from a vintage doily. And the top piece is from a newer, um, a string of these flowers from the Crafty Me Shop. And then on the back side, I left that blank. And this is the, the part that opens like so. So that's what I did. And this will just slip into the journal kind of uh, with um, like a page. Here's the second one I've done. So this one I started this way. So that'll be the first thing you see as you're flipping pages in the book and you flip it open and you'll see this side. Same thing, stenciling here and the little double doily doodad there. Then on this side, here's a pocket also with the playing cards in it and another piece from the actual book. Back side, same thing piece of the Stamperia paper pad. This is actually a different paper pad. This one's, this, um, this sheet is from Grand Hotel, but it's also Stamperia. And then another image from, this is the Cheshire Cat in the Tree from the book. So I have two more to do. I'll put one of these in each of the journals. I've got my stencil here. I've got my images pulled out and ready to go. Uh, I think I like I like it starting with this side, so let's do that. And I just need to put a little bit of ink on here. Get that, get that kind of grungied up, grungied up a little bit. Oops, I kind of got, I got a little carried away there. That's okay. Get that corner. There we go. And we'll put that there. So let me go ahead and glue that down. I'm using art glitter glue on these. It's paper to paper. It's wonderful. Just getting it, getting some glue. Scoot it around here on the back. Just you know, we don't want any bubbles to form, so I want that to have kind of be stuck down very nicely there. And let's see, I think this goes this way. And then I'm just going to take the image. Let's see, I've got this one ripped out. I think it'll be cute here. Like that. 
And all of these images are directly from the book. I haven't scanned any of them. Um, the book itself, I believe, was from 1947. And I just, like I said, I think in my last video, it was, the spine was cracked. And so I'm just giving it some new life in a different way. And same thing, glue, 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 glue. So these go together pretty quickly. Once I decided what I wanted to do, getting them ready, to, each one ready to go was, was pretty simple. All right, on the inside, uh, the inside I'm gonna use a darker ink just because this is such a dark blue. Whoops, I'm knocking things over here. And we'll throw this stencil in. Just gonna layer down in the middle. Actually, wait, 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 I don't wanna do that, I wanna do this. This brush gives me a little bit of a different, you can, you can, um, let's come over a little bit. There we go. Get it a little easier to get heavier and then in the middle and then brush out. Little bit more on there. There we go. I know how to do it. I'm not worried too much about getting over here on this side because that's where this is going to be. Set that aside. And you can see it gives it just a nice feathering sort of lightening out as you go. Nice, 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 nice. All right. Let's snip this off a little bit. Might make it easier if I take the lid off of my scissors. And I want to leave this side open, so I am going to let's see. Let me I'm just gonna Put a little thumbnail mark on there so I can see where to cut that off. See if I can actually cut it straight. <laughs> yeah, that might make it easier. Uh, okay. And then, yeah, it looks like I can turn just a tiny bit off. I'll go down here and trim a little off down here. How's that? That's good. All right, and now ink. Probably don't need to ink these. These pages had a nice patina to them already, but some of the images were pretty much in the front. Oh, some of these images were pretty much in the middle, I mean. All right, which side am I leaving open? I'm leaving this one open. So just a dot here. And here. And here. There we go. Here I'm going to leave that come in just a little bit so I'm not directly in the seam. And this is not the kind of pocket that's going to stand up to uh, a lot of y usage. And it is just the paper and I'm not backing it, but for these little tiny playing cards, it's sort of perfect. And I've got more of them over here. Let's put that in there and let's put, um, let's put that in there. Okay. And then on this side, we're gonna put this guy in. Now, I could use Fabri-Tac here, but I've got the art glitter glue out already and it'll work just fine on this small little piece of fabric. 
It's not fabric, it's doily, doily piece. Now this, I think, yeah, I think I'll put it right there. And then this one, let's see, we have a front and we have back. So I wanna make sure I'm putting glue on the right side. And this also, I think, looks a certain way. Is it this way? Yeah, let's put it that way. There we go. That's a simple little, simple little add-on. Just a little baby, baby clinic cluster there. Okay. And that's it. And that'll be the back side. One more to do. Again, you know, like I said, they these kind of uh, these come together pretty easily. I think I do like now this one. Ha oh, wait, wait, wait! Back up. Hold on. You're not done yet. I did want to. I did want to ink the edges here. And these cracked just a little bit when I folded them, even though I scored them. And so I want to get some ink on that, that edge, that folded edge, even though that's what's going to be here. You can kind of see, even though that is what is going to be bound, that's the side that'll be bound into the journal. And it's not critical, it won't show. I still want to make sure that it's covered before I put it in the journal. We'll do some side here. Then I'm gonna open this flap and go ahead and get some ink here. Get my string out of the way. <laughs> Come on, string, there you go. Okay, I think that works. And one more little thing I want to do. Put a little, I want to put a thumb notch on there. All right, so that's done. And I want to put a thumb notch here. I think when you have a thumb notch, it just makes it easier to tell where uh, that it is an opening. Let's try it. I'm just going to eyeball it here in the center. This is a one inch punch. And then we'll go back here and get some ink. Get some ink on that edge. There we go. Okay. Now, is that all I did to these? Yeah. That's all I did. <laughs> Making sure. And there we go. I like it. I just got some more here. Let's see if I can get that. Okay. Done. And done. So it's just a cute little visual. And I guess, well, you know, you could use, you easily can use this pocket um, and this one too. As a matter of fact, Ed, when I put this into the journal, I'll probably slip a tag in there. It'll be coming out sideways. I think that'll that'll work. All right, let's do this this way. Ink. This is the side I want to use. Although this back side is just as pretty. I like the smaller roses. I think the smaller roses work better and, and hopefully, you know, don't distract maybe as much from the image being on top of it. And that's why I'm using that side. I tell you these, as I'm putting, getting these journals ready to go, it feels like there's going to be a lot more um, sort of pinks in here than I originally had planned. But 
and I'm really not a big pink person, but it just works. Um, and I'm really liking the way things are beginning to come together. I have taken all everything that I've made and I've divvied it all up into Ziploc bags. And I can show you just here in a second, one for each of the journals. And I'm really, really close to beginning to put the pages together. And once I've done that, then I will go back through and decide what more pockets I need or um, any, you know, any, if I need more tags, if I just, if I just need more journaling cards or what, what maybe it needs. So, so, and then once I do that, then it'd be time to start binding them. So the point is here, I am really close. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I feel like this has taken me forever. But when I started it, I started it pretty much as my summer project. So I knew this wasn't going to come together in a week. <laughs> Not happening. Cool. Mad Hatter there. Okay, let's flip it over. Let's do some stenciling. I probably will put some more stenciling on the inside too. I haven't really thought much about it yet. But I do like the look of stenciled pages, especially from the from the bindery, from the inside coming out on a page. And then you're not, you can still journal on the page when you do that too. You don't take up so much space that you can't. Voila. This is one of my favorite stencils. I actually don't know what I'll do when it when it's not working anymore. All right, let's cut that off down here. And I'm going to mark where I want that cut at the top. Let's see if I can get this in the light to where I can see where my mark is. And I did not cut that straight at all. Let's try that again. <laughs> That's better. Now it's going to be too short, right? Nope, it works just fine. I know, inking. So exciting. I say that every time I ink. I won't say that. I did not just say that. So let's get some ink on here. Get this corner. Nice. And on this one, I want this side to be opened. So I keep my thumb there so I can remember, because otherwise I won't remember. Just use glue on the very edge here. And about there. So this is more just a pocket for, just for pretty decoration, just to tip those little playing cards in there. It's really not going to be, this pocket is what I'm talking, referring to. This is not going to be a very functional pocket. Putting a black and a red in each one. Now we'll punch our hole. Um, just eyeballing it in the center. Okay. 
and whoops, my cards fell out. That's okay, I'll put those back in in just a minute. And we'll put our little guy here. And then I'll show these to you one more time. Boy, I can't tell what's the front and what's the back on that one. I love these vintage lace pieces. As a matter of fact, I just purchased a book on the history of lace. It just came, and so I'm kind of excited to read read my book and get a little bit more insight into, and it talks about tatting and crocheting and you know, pretty much where all of that came from. At least I think it does. I haven't read the book yet, <laughs> but I'm getting ready to. So I'm excited to maybe learn a little bit more about lace. And I can blame Michelle Scott from that. If you don't follow um, Journaling with Two L's, she has a Facebook page and a YouTube channel. And on her Facebook page, there have been some conversations about lace and learning about lace, and and so that's fun. That's, I mean, I was interested in lace before those conversations, but those are the conversations that got me really thinking more about it. All right, a little bit of, a little bit of inking, and we will be done. Get my little pieces of scraps out of the way here. We will be done. Let's gotta and then this is just another piece that is done and ready to go. Yay! And I'll show you real quick here before I sign off. I'll show you. What I'm talking about as far as w how far I am and what I'm doing, I'll show you. Um, I can pull up one of the, one of my bags here. Let's get that edge. And there's that white where it cracked just a tiny bit. And I did score it and it cracked anyway, but it's also such a thick piece that I was trying to fold in half that that didn't surprise me, but it also doesn't bother me. It's not gonna it's not gonna compromise the strength of this, I don't think, at all, when it's put in the journal. So finish this up here. Two of the journals that I'm working on um, are spoken for. And the other two, when I get done with them, will be um, in my Etsy shop. So that's exciting. But I still have, I'm still a few weeks, easily a few weeks away from being done with them. Cause it might make it sound like there's not that much work left to do, but <laughs> that would be nice, but there really is. Because as you know, once I, or for those of you who've been following me for a while, once I put them together, I still have, I still go back then later and do bling. So I still have a lot of blingy work to do. Okay, there we go. There's that one. You open it to be a little baby pocket. And then there's the pocket on that side. So that's all four of them. Ready to go. Oops, he's upside down. I did them each a little different. Well, I did this one differently, but I kind of liked the, I, I do like the image being the first thing that you see in this coming later in the book. So that's that. And that one, and that one. Okay, those are ready. Um, I'll show you, let's see what's on top here. This is the brown journal and so oh, let's wait a minute let's put the glue let's put the lid uh, close up the glue if I can <laughs> there we go and I have in here all the stuff that I'm going to use so here's a tag not done with it I still have to put a um, I think some sorry silk here on the edge, but here's a tag that 
I've made. And then there's, I went and made this. I made four, so there's one of each of these. If you saw my video on the cards, there's one of each of those and a little bingo card, one of each of those. I think you saw my video on, um, or at least I showed these when I was making one of the other pages. And so here's two more tags that are done. This is the vintage handkerchief that I'm going to be using to create pockets on the inside front and back cover. Here are the pages that I waxed and I've gone in and added some vintage and some new um, lace and, and trim and crochet and whatnot. And then I've sewn those so they all have they all have some, some sewing. This was the last video, so in this book, this is the, the tab page that'll be in there, and you can kind of see how it'll poke out here. And then I've just pulled other pages that I'm going to be using, some of these from Vintage Alice in Wonderland, a couple more from the My Porch Prints book. Um, this is some handmade paper. I think I had all of these in my first video. These are some vintage leather ledger sheets, some tea dyed paper, in a couple different colors. Let's see what else is here. This is an insert that I made using the Stamperia paper pad. Stamperia. I've sewn a pocket on the outside, and then this will be the inside spread, and each book will have a different inside spread. This is the one for this book. And then each one will have two of these paperscapes books. These are die, these are books that come die cut like this already. I had to do a lot of trimming. Um, this particular paperscapes book is uh, larger than my last ones were. It's size just slightly different, and so it doesn't fit as nicely into this these particular journals. So I had to do a lot of trimming um, on the side and the bottom to get them to to fit. And this one also. So that'll be fun. Uh, and then I have uh, tea dyed doilies, or one doily for each of the book books. And then I took, these are all um, from page directly, images directly from the Alice in Wonderland book that I had. And I've made each journal is going to have these four, and each will be different because obviously I only have one of this image in the page. I have these four journaling cards that I've made and are ready to go. And then I have the inside front and back cover um, marbled sheets that will go in this particular book. That's what will go in this one. So, so here's my packet of stuff and I've got, oh, and then, so now I will also have, well, I might as well do it while I'm sitting here. I have pockets made. Here's a couple that just, again, from the Stamperia paper bat pad. This is also from the uh, Grand Hotel paper pad because I'm running out of the Alice. Let's see, this is the brown journal, so we'll put this one in here. And let's add Mr. Cheshire Cat into our stack. And then I have more. I have more things over here that need to be tea dyed and, or, or not tea dyed, um, inked, and just colored and finished up. But as you can see, I'm getting very, very close. And I've got one of these bags for each of the journals. And that's it, that's the update. Put that in there like that. Um, and that's all I've got. So thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. Just again, just a very simple little solution as to how to incorporate um, this policy envelope. There's a ton of different ways to do them. This is just one. Snip off the end um, and then just sort of do some collaging or paper piecing or whatever, whatever you want to do. And then I've created a baby mini pocket here. And then of course you have another pocket there. So that's it. Thank you all for joining me. I will be back next time. Uh, what will? Hmm. I'm not sure what the next step is. Well, I'm gonna, gonna have to gonna have to give that some thought. <laughs> Probably making more um, pockets and things. I actually think my next step is going to be putting these together and just beginning to flip through them and seeing what I need, what's left. 
So until then, thank you. Thank you for joining me and thank you for your support. Bye.